After we reported about this deadly motorcycle crash yesterday afternoon, more than 100 of our viewers reached out to us on our Facebook, Facebook page. Good evening, I'm Joey Parker. I'm Meredith Haynes. Several people questioned the safety of the overpass at Route Z and I-70, telling us tall guardrails and blind spots make that overpass dangerous. Remember, parts of the bridge were replaced or improved just last year. We wanted to know more and sent ABC 17's Angel Mendez out to that overpass today. She is there live and joins us now. And Angel, what did you see? Well, today, everyone says, I saw what everyone else says they see when they approach this bridge. These guardrails that are behind me, they actually block the view of any oncoming cars. And you have to pull up to the very edge of those guardrails to see anything. And even then, you're going to have to look more than once in both directions before you make that turn. After we broke the news of the deadly crash, Facebook comments flooded into our newsroom. One viewer says, between the new guardrails and the rise of the road, it is nearly impossible to see traffic coming until it is too late. And I heard the same concerns from drivers on the overpass today. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. You just have to be cautious. You can't hardly ever see anybody, and then when you do, they're flying over the hill that you can't even react hardly. State Highway Patrol returned to the scene to reconstruct Wednesday's crash. I asked them if anything about the bridge seemed abnormal, and they told me everything appeared standard. But I wanted to see for myself, so I drove to the stop bar at the top of the overpass and couldn't see past the guardrail. So I'm going to pull up a little bit further so I can see just past the guardrail. And even then, if I wanted to see a car that's coming over this way, you wouldn't be able to see because that hill. A hill that cars can legally drive over at 40 miles per hour. Drivers say it's not enough to make a complete stop and look only once in both directions. And a MoDOT official says they will be working closely with the highway patrol to determine the safety of the bridge. We decide there's something we can do, you know, we, uh, we'll, we'll do it, you know. Determine if there are some things that, uh, we can do within our uh, within our ability to uh, try to make it as uh, good as possible for the public traveling through there. I reached out to the State Highway Patrol and the Boone County Fire Protection District for the number of accidents that have happened at this intersection. According to the Boone County Fire official, he says that there have not been any accidents in the last year, but he does encourage everyone to take that second look or a third look if you have to and be extra cautious anyway. Reporting live on I-70 and Route Z, Angel Mendez, ABC 17 News. And remember, for part of that year, it was under construction. Both county and state officials replaced Route Z overpass because of increased traffic from the new Battle High School.